I know why you're here. You're here to learn the putting secrets sought after by the best players in the world. And with testimonials from guys like Bernhard Langer, Miguel Angel Jimenez, and Adam Scott, I can't blame you. But before I share with you these four secret body locks of putting, which will systematically get rid of all the unwanted range of motion of your hands, arms, elbows, and shoulders, and before we dive into the distance control secrets to stop all the three putting on different green speeds and grass types, I want to share with you the single most common issue I see in the putting stroke. Now, because this club is the shortest club in your bag, we will all have the tendency of bending over more from the middle part of our back. And when I do this, the shoulders want to relax or fall out of their sockets, which will invite them to lift all these different ways around the spine, creating a lot of inconsistency. So the only putting lesson I gave to Adam Scott before his back-to-back -back wins at the Honda as well as Doral, and the only thing I tell Bernhard Langer to teach him how to anchor a now unanchored putter is instead of letting the shoulders fall out of their sockets, we want to go ahead and pinch them back a little bit because the moment you pinch them back a little bit or create what's called scapular engagement or in my words body lock number three that little bit of engagement will isolate the rotation of the shoulders just one way around the spine literally forcing the putter to work on a much more consistent path and so anytime you're able to mitigate variables by definition you have to get more consistent and as you can probably imagine this is going to be super beneficial to add consistency to your chipping, pitching, bunker play, and even your full swing. So remember, the moment you let the shoulders fall out of their sockets, there's a lot of variables that's there. The moment you pinch them back, it isolates the rotation and it's going to make everything have an extra layer of polishing consistency. What do you got to lose but a few strokes? Give it a shot. Let me know how it works out. Hey guys, I hope that tip made a little bit of sense. And if you want to dive even deeper with me, I'm actually traveling to your club to host a special series of putting, short game, bunker play, and even full swing clinics for only two days. So if you want to go and sign up, please contact the Pro Shop for more information regarding exactly what time and date this clinic is going to be scheduled. And again, if you do sign up now, I'll actually bring a signed copy of my putting book just for you. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to talk about over the course of these clinics, you know, the putting clinic, we're going to talk about what we call the four secret body locks and you know, how we're going to lock out the range of motion of your hands, arms, elbows, and shoulders, forcing you to make short putts automatic. We're going to talk about some distance control secrets. That way you can better calibrate your speed on 30, 40, 50, 60, even 70 foot putts, you know, whether playing over at Oakmont where the greens are super fast or local muni. Uh, we're going to talk about green reading secrets that PGA Tour caddies would get fired for not knowing. We're going to talk about what in fact is the ideal speed of entry to the hole as well as that new question, should you leave in the pin or not? Um, and from there, we're going to dive into what is the short game score, which is about wedge play as well as bunker play. In wedge play, we're going to show you why you might have the tendency to either chili dip your chips or blade them over, over the green. We're going to get rid of that once and for all. We're going to talk about um, how to hit shots from different lies and conditions, which I think is even more important. You know, being able to get up and down, whether you're in deep, rough, tight lies against the grain, uphill, downhill, side hill. Because it's not about moving your ball position around. There's actually some nuances of your setup that you want to observe to change your spin and angle of attack and trajectory from these different lives and conditions. Uh, we're also going to talk about how to better control your distance from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards from the green. That way you're going to hit a pin high every time. And we're also going to talk about uh, the bunker, which is not only the easiest way to get out of the sand, but I know some players are really proficient from soft sand versus firm sand. So we want to give you some different shots in your arsenal that you can utilize that are optimal from soft sand versus firm sand bunkers. Um, and so we're also going to talk about Gary Player's Million Dollar Plug Live Bunker Secret, which is how you go ahead and hit high soft finesse shots from the worst plug lies you've seen. We're going to talk about distance control, because really the mark of any short game magician is the ability to control your distance from the bunker, whether you are 20, 30, 40, even 50 yards away. We're also going to talk about um, not just greenside bunkers, but the long greenside bunker shot, that 50, 60 yard bunker shot, as well as fairway bunkers. And for those of you who really want to transform your entire game, we're also offering a full swing program where we're going to show you not only how to compress your irons to hit more greens than you ever thought possible, as well as ways to leverage your anatomy that help you crush driver further than probably ever before. We're going to talk about how to fix that one swing flaw you have and develop a single swing thought that you can rely on. That way, regardless of how much pressure you're feeling, you'll be able to pull off the shot at hand. We're going to talk about ball striking as well as some common fault fixes. That way, before you go play in your member guest or your member member, you won't embarrass yourself at the very least. Um, and so I'm really excited to host these programs for you. I think I'm only going to be at your club for two days, and I think we only have eight seats available uh, per session. So again, go and contact the pro shop. I know if you sign up now, um, I'll be able to bring a signed copy of my putting book just for you. And I can't wait to share some time and really help you transform the game 
And I've been doing this, you know, the last three years at some of the best courses in the world. So I'm really excited to visit your club and spend some time with you to really help you understand how we're going to find improvement in this game that we love.